Hello, hello, my melodies. Welcome back. In today's video, we are going to check out my Shrouded Fable binder um, and see if we can complete more of it um, in today's video. I don't, I don't imagine us getting perfect pull rates to be able to uh, to finish out the binder, but we can still at least take a look at what everything is. I finally started sorting them. I've been using the um, the modular sorting trays from um, BCW Supplies. Um, if you wanna get those and any discounts or anything like that, or even this card catalog back here, they are beautiful. These are a beautiful kind of tray organizer set. Um, you can display some fun cards. You can see the Squirtle and the Charmander and the Bulbasaur from the Japanese box that I had bought. Um, and now I'm gonna have to repull all those for for the new, the new set that's coming out um, at the end of the week. Um, or I guess this would be today. I guess Stellar Crown will be coming out today. But today we're talking about Shrouded Fable. Um, if you want BCW supplies, click the link in the description. Um, I have a, an associate code that will get you some discounts on it. And it helps out the channel too. So first page, we got most of the reverses. Um, I feel like I've opened up um, a good portion of this uh, set already. So there is the next two pages. Hopefully the reflection is not too bad. Um, so, like the core of the set, I think is mostly good. I do, I'm missing a number of the um, the legendary um, Pokemon. So I have Okie Dogie and I have Monkey Dory, but I know I need Fezzendipity. And then there's um, there's another one that I need there. I need to, I need to check the actual um, card set to know what's in there. And then we get to, after the trainers, you can see I have three, four, I have three of the illustration rares. I have one full art and I have a second full art. And then all of these blank pages have different stuff. And then we get into some of the promos that were in different boxes. Um, so you can see I'm missing a lot of cards from the last of the set. That that tracks with all of the, uh, what I say, the, the pull rates have been for me for Shroud of Fable. So, we have another ETB here that we're going to open up um, and dive into and see if we can pull any extra, um, any cards that we need, really. So let's go ahead and break open the box. Use my trusty pry tool there. I also uh, came in useful again at the pre-releases recently, but the I have a flathead screwdriver that goes on a keychain very useful for trying to get into um, into some of the um, plastic that's just kind of, it's tough to get, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and double check which one of the ones that I need for this little set. Okay, so I still need Pheasant Empathy, oh, and then a Petron EX. So I still need both of those, um, but I think that's the ones I need from the core set. Still need a lot of the A-Spec um, cards of the trainers and then we get into pretty much all of the um all of the different illustration rares there are some beautiful illustration rares and full arts and gold there's a golden earthen vessel so there's a lot of the set that i certainly do still need let's go ahead and put that over there let's get into the rest of this box okay so cardboard we don't really need I can get it in the trash can. That means I need to move that trash can out. We have the dice and everything as usual. Throw that into that that area. We have energy <laughs> as we need it. We have the Petrant um, promo that comes in the set. We have the code card that will unlock that Petrant piece to it. We have those. Well, if the packs will stay upright there we go and then of course we have the dividers and the sleeves of the set uh, actually was taking some extra of these sleeves to uh any of the pre-release stuff some people don't don't remember or they forget or they um they don't know that you can bring sleeves to a pre-release event and sleeve up your cards i like to shuffle with sleeves no matter what i think the etb ones are also pretty good for like a low n amount of of shuffling and playing they don't hold up over a long tournament day i will tell you that um but they're good for some basic protection for a pre-release and for protecting cards in a binder so 
Use them as you need to. Um, we have nine cards uh, or nine packs like we normally do. Let me know which pack you think is going to have the best pulls and be adding to our binder today. Hopefully we will. Um, and then, of course, we always like to do the always fun BPM zone pack battles. Let's see what we're doing today. We're doing slot number 10, which is going to be our rare spot. We're doing card number, boy, we've been doing card number all week. I'm going to re-roll, I'm going to re-roll that one. Okay, we're doing um, Pokedex number. Um, hopefully I can do that where it's on the card, but maybe not. We'll see. Some of the Pokedex numbers aren't on the kind of special pools or the ultra rares. So we'll have to see, but we're looking for the highest Pokedex number in today's video. Alrighty, let's jump into the first pack. And yeah, for the compare card category, if I, uh, if I do pull something great, I'm gonna put it in the MVP section instead of the BPM zone. So we'll have to, we'll have to keep a mental note of uh, how the cards are comparing today in the BPM zone. We have Stuffle, we have Genesec, we have a Power Glass, we got Sylveon, another Power Glass, Slithering, and then a Petron EX starting out already strong. Petron EX is going to be first one in the MVP section, first one to be added to the binder as well. Does it have what number it is on the card anywhere? It does not. Okay, somebody's going to have to look up and put in the comments for me what um, what the number is for Petron um, EX there. I'm going to also put that up there, but I'm going to assume... Since it's the only pack we open, it is winning the compare card category. <laughs> I think that's a safe assumption. Yeah. Anyway, Petrock. Oh, yeah. MVP section. Get the party started. Get that flowing up there. Hopefully that light's coming through. It is. At least I see it on my on my small display. I'm trying to keep track so you guys are, are having fun. You can see what I'm seeing. I don't know. We'll try and keep we'll try and keep that up. We got Golbat, we got Sneasel, we have another Power Glass, Crobat, okay, evolution line of that. Beware of the Hound Doom. There we are. There's another illustration rare. Okay, this ETB is already better than most of the other boxes I've opened. And then a Tapu Bulu is 787 for that. I think Petron is still technically, I mean it's a newer Pokemon, right? So we're going to go ahead and say that that is above Tapu Bulu because of where the, the set is. And we have a Houndoom joining us in the MVP section. Okay, two for two. Can we keep it going? Oh, man. Two new items for the binder. I'll, um, I think there were too many that I was missing to even really do a count. I don't want to, I don't want to. I don't want that negativity in this world. We keep things very positive. So we're gonna we're not gonna do the counter yet <laughs> for the amount of cards I need left for this set. Um, we're just gonna keep having fun. We got Malamar, Weavile, another binding mochi, Inke, and a Dusk Noir. Um 477. I'm not gonna take over the compare card. I do think one of the legendary ones is gonna be the old the, the newer newer Pokemon, right? I think Petron's probably after the Royal Three or the Legendary Three, or I don't know. I forget what it was called in that game. Um, but yeah, we're going to make that assumption. And we'll see if I'm right after the fact or not. A lot of these cards are the exact same throughout the set. Drowsy, Rowlet, Blood Moon, Ursula, Ursaluna. We do have a Hollow Fire. Um, Ursaluna 901. That would be part of, so the Blood Moon Ursaluna would be part of the Arceus set. So I think that was before the Scarlet and Violet games, I believe so. But it's certainly up there. And actually I would say yes, because the Scarlet and Violet goes up to a thousand. So that won't be winning the compare card because I think Petron is part of the DLC. Got Fracture, we got Sneasel. I don't know if anybody's following what I'm saying. I'm just rambling. Hopefully you guys are just having fun, hanging out, seeing what cards we're pulling. We have a Rever Room EX. That is one of the newer ones. Um, nice double rare. I did already have this in the set or in the binder. So that'll be another trade for the trade binder. And we got four more packs. We're halfway through this ETB. We got three pulls so far, so I'm... 
I'm feeling good about this ETV that we that we picked up. I think I think my wife pulled this one off the shelf. So kudos to Nikki for choosing the right <laughs> the right one off the shelf. Academy at Night, Double Hypno, Monkey Dory EX Illustration Rare. Oh my goodness, this is the secret illustration rare if I if I remember properly, if I know that stuff. Beautiful card. Definitely one of the more expensive ones that I need. So very excited for that. And then Cooper Raja is not taking over the compare card. So already a better ETB than I've seen for the entire, entire Shroud of Fable set, which is beautiful. Okay, that was, uh, what was that, pack number six? So if you chose number six in the comments, you are currently winning for the best pool you'll probably win for the best pool who knows maybe i can keep the the luck going got iron moth slitherwing cassiopeia cooper raja kiram and then a zoroark not going to take over the compare card and then a holographic um psychic energy which is the last psychic energy or the last psychic the last holographic energy i needed for this set so that one even had a pool that will go into the binder when, um, when these special sets have holographic um, energy, I do try and keep at least one in the binder just as a, as a memory. It's not really technically part of like the master set for a holiday set or a, a special set, 0.5 set, however you want to say it. Um, they aren't technically part of the set, but they are part of the set. And I have, um, I have memories of when I want to, or I want to capture the memories of when I pulled those cards. So I do at least try and put one into each one. And then a full art <laughs> chorus's tenacity. This is one of the full arts that we had, but I am not complaining with these pull rates today. That'll go into the trade binder. Hopefully we can have some people who want that so that I can get another one of the cards from Shrouded Fable. And then we have the last pack for Shrouded Fable today. CTB has been good to us. I'm excited for it. Um, Hopefully I'm not spending all of my luck on this ETB because I should be out and about right now <laughs> um, going and hunting for all of the new set for Stellar Crown. So come back next week. I'll be having all of those things that I open. And we are ending on today a Zorark. So I'm going to assume the um, Petron EX won the compare card category. Pack number... Um, yes, pack... Number six with the Monkey Door EX, one for what had the best pulls today. Um, and we just had a good, I won because we had a good ETB. And we're having a wonderful Friday, right? <laughs> uh, thank you guys all for hanging out and just having fun. It, that's the whole point of Pokemon, to have some fun, um, see some beautiful artwork, some beautiful cards, and then be able to hang out with wonderful people at Pokemon League um, or virtually <laughs> as well on uh, different games. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the like, share, all that good stuff supports the channel. I really do appreciate it. Remember to keep singing the song in your heart. And in the end, a little music goes a long way.